Purve Gora Chandraya Radhika Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tada Bhaktaya Namo Namaha Sri Nanda Nanda Nambande Radhika Chadana Dwayam Gopi Jana Samayuktam Brindavana Mano Haram Sri Guru Chadana Dwandam Bhakta Brinda Samanvitam Sri Chaitanya Prabhu Bande Nityananda Sahoditam Ajano Lambito Bajo Kanakava Dato Sankirtane Kapitaro Kamalaya Taksho Bishwam Baro Dvijabaro Yugadharma Palo Bande Jagat Priya Kuru Karo Kurunaya Avataro Kalo Bhakti Vihina Parada Lakshe Chiptischa Kamadi Taranga Madhye Kripa Maitvam Sadanam Prapadye Brinde Namaste Chadanaravindam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare So first of all I offer pranams to our Gurudev, on Vishnupad, Chudandi Sami, Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta, Narayan Gosai Maharaj, our Shiksha Guru, Sri Gauru Govinda Maharaj, Sri Bhaktivedanta, Madhusudan Gosai Maharaj, all Vaishnavas, Thank you for coming, okay. cooks especially. So, today is very auspicious day, Chir Dari Mahotsa. Chir means flat rice, flat rice, no puff rice, that's Muri. Chira means flat rice, Dahi means yoga. So today is big festival, must be on the banks of the Ganga, one branch of the Ganga there in Panihati, today tens of thousands of people will be celebrating that festival. Of course it will not be 10 degrees centigrade and raining. There is middle of summer. So this festival is great festival. Has anyone been to Panihati? Anyone here? Two, three times we went. Not during festival time. <laughs> But beautiful place. Oh. Have you been? Oh, yeah. Calcutta. Oh yeah. In Panihati. Not not yeah. Okay. Next it's time. Nabi, no? I must have gone but I don't know. Oh, it's a little hidden place. So everyone here is devotee, thank God. So can explain in another way. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, three sections. Sambanda Abhidan, Sambanda Bhagawan, Abhideya Bhakti Hoy, Krishna Prem Prayojan Veda Tritatvikoy. The Vedas describe three subject three sub subject matter. Three subject matter. Sambanda Gyan, Abhideya Gyan, and Prayojan. So Sambanda means relationship. Everyone and everything. Conscious or unconscious, unconscious, has relationship, has one source. What is that? Krishna. Maya, also Krishna's Shakti. The Jiva, the Jiva Shakti, also Krishna's Shakti. The Antaranga, Krishna's potency. So whatever there exists, spiritual, material, or conscious in the form of the souls, Everything have only one relationship. Who is that? Madhusmita? Krishna. Krishna. In simple language, everything comes from Him. There is nothing separate from Him. In Gita, Krishna says. In Bhagavad Gita, what is that? Aham sadvasya Aham sadvasya Prabhavo matas Aham sadvasya Prabhavo Matas. Buddha Baba Samanvita. First verse I learned. First one I forgot. Krishna says, "Everything, whether material or spiritual, comes from me." So this is called sambandhagyan. This knowledge, because of lack of sambandhagyan, everyone is suffering, thinking I am American, I am Chinese, I am Australian, I am something else. No. But actually everyone and everything belongs to one person. There is one enjoyer. 
Ekara Iswara Krishna Adasabhavritya. One enjoyer and all others are his property. This, this understanding is called Sambandhya. No? And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu specifically gave this branch of this knowledge the responsibility for establishing and distributing this knowledge Mahaprabhu gave to Sanatana Goswami. No. So Abhida, actually I never knew this before but just read Chaitanya Shiksamrita. Abhida means direct, direct meaning. No, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained to Sarvabhom Bhattacharya, direct meaning should always be taken in the scriptures. No. And if some trouble is there in direct meaning, then you can take the Lakshambriti or the secondary meaning. Like, Ram lives on the Ganga. <laughs> what does it mean? Ram's floating on the Ganga? No. It means Ram lives on a village somewhere on the side of the Ganga. So Ram is floating on that. Sometimes direct meaning may not help us. At that time we take secondary. But Abhida, Abhida means direct meaning. So what is the direct meaning or the, the cause of all existence? Krishna's service. So not knowledge of my how I can serve Krishna, how I can develop my service tendency. Knowledge of how everything and everyone not only belongs to Krishna but should be used for his seva. This is called Abhideya. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave Rupa Goswami responsibility for this Abhida. Abhideya Tattva. No? Nowadays many people want to say, Oh, only who follow Manjari Bhav, this is Rupa Nuga. But what? All other rasas, where they go? Who else should they take shelter of? Mahaprabhu gave Rupa Goswami that responsibility. Right? So whether you're in Das or Sake or Batsalya and you want to achieve perfection, whose books are you going to read? Sai Baba's? <laughs> Who? Ramanujachari? Where are you going to go? You have to go to Rupa Goswami. Therefore Rupa Goswami Bhakti Rasamrita describe all rasas, all 12 rasas, not just Manjari Bhav. Actually, Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj said, those who think that Rupanuga Bhajan consists of only Parakya Maduras, they are called Sahajas. Unfortunately, many days people not understand Gurudev's mood, they try to pull Gurudev into that category. But Gurudev never spoke like this. Gurudev always with so much happiness, he would also describe Sakdasiras, Hanuman and others. With so much bliss, he would also describe Sakiras, and in Kartik, one month, <laughs> so much described deeply, but Saliras, of course he have his own mood, but all rasas, the Abhidea, the Acharya of all rasas is Rupa Goswami. If I have greed for Sakiras, whose books I study? Rupa Goswami gave all this process, especially Upadesha Amrita, no, Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu. And of course, a special branch, those in Madhuri Ras, they will also go to Rupa Goswami's books like Ujval Nilamani. But Rupa Goswami is the guru for all Rasas. Now people want to say, no, no, Rupa Goswami, only the guru of this little section. In this way, they minimize it. But all Gaudiya Vaishnavas have pride. We are Rupa Nugas. Because everyone follows his Siddhanta. All Rasas, all Sadaks. Of course, all may not follow Rupa Goswami's personal mood. If you can follow both, that is also a matter of good fortune. So anyway, Mahaprabhu gave Rupa Goswami this in charge. And finally, Priyojan. Priyojan means our goal. Many people confuse what is goal of life. Darren, what is your goal of life? Do Krishna. Right. And do what? Serving. In which way? Summers. <laughs> which devotional way? There's four ways. Some as servant, some as friend, some as so, parent. Is my friend. Good start. <laughs> you are not enemy of the Sampradaya. You shall not be cast out of the Gaudiya line <laughs> for affection to Sakiras. Do not fear. So our goal is called Prema. No? Dasya Prem, Sakya Prem, Batsalya Maduras. Madura Prem. And who is the Priyogen who gave that extreme example that is Raghunath? Goswami. So today is some big tattva of Raghunath Goswami. No? 
by hearing Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bandan Jaha Hoite Vignanas Abhishta Puran. By hearing, by worshipping, thinking, having faith in these six devotees, the six Goswamis, any obstacle, that will be burned to ashes. So today is called Chita Dahi Mahotsav. So we will speak this history. We are lucky today. Good day, good fortune. Who came late have not so much good fortune. <laughs> so, <coughs> Raghunath, his father and uncle were extremely wealthy. I think they had an income of 1.2 million gold coins per year. That is called Mahur. You'd think Sanatan Goswami was about to get his throat cut for eight gold coins. <laughs> no. So, no one's going to kill someone for an insignificant amount. So, you could imagine what type of wealth 1.2 million gold coins annually after tax. <laughs> because they were the tax collectors. So, they would collect and they would give to the king, but they always kept 1.2 million gold coins. <laughs> which is an extraordinary amount. If today one gold coin, how much would that be worth? Yeah, so gold is, worth eight, eight gold yeah. is a gold coin an ounce? An ounce? No, it's about 2,000. It's over 2,000. 2, uh, wow. Okay, well there's an income. Of a gold coin, how many ounces is a gold coin? Okay, don't worry too much, but it's like, it's some extraordinary amount. It's like 300 million a year. I could... <laughs> So you could imagine an extraordinary amount of money. So he had extremely wealthy family. You know? He had a wife, beautiful like Indra. You know? Guru Maharaj would say, like Miss Universe. You know? He had very affectionate parents. So much wealth, so much. He was also very handsome. You know? But he was always restless how I can meet Lord Chaitanya. You know? So many times, even in young age, because Lord, he was born at Adi Saptagram. That village is like one hour north of Calcutta. If you drive Nav Navadvip to Calcutta, little detour you can go through Adi Saptagram. I was lucky one time Trivikram Maharaj took me there. So he had a five rupee coin, so he, he donated it by flicking it like that. This is Srila Naran Maharaj's dear god brother. No? So that gold, I remember that coin, five rupee coin, hit the floor and rolled, 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 right under Raghunath Goswami's asan. Yeah. Then Chirikamaj was laughing, Acha, like that. So the Adi Saptagram, famous place. And his uncle and father so used to practically to maintain all the Brahmanas in Godadesh. So very pious. But Raghunath Goswami was not satisfied. No? Because Lord Chaitanya born where? Navadweep, very close, two, three hours. No? So many times he tried to run away. But his father was so wealthy, so many security guards, guard gatekeepers, etc. Every time he was run away, he would be bound and caught. Govardhan Majumda. Do you his. remember our play, Govardhan In the drama. In 98, in the drama. At, uh, that was a classic drama. Yeah. Gurudev was weeping in that was drama. Good. Happiness or distress, I could not tell, but he was weeping. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful dramas we used to do. This is also part of Vaishnava culture. So every time he ran away, he was bound. You know? So then his father became, fr his mother became frustrated. Why don't we bind him with an iron chain? Then Guru would say, his father would say, if the affection and beauty of his wife cannot bind him, the love and affection of his parents cannot bind him, this all wealth and opulence cannot bind him, then what a lifeless gold, lifeless metal chain will do. No? But that time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas. No? And took sannyas, or I, let me think, no? it could be he had taken sannyas no? and he was headed down towards Puri, or it could be the second time when he went to Bengal. Yeah. Taken, so he'd already taken sannyas at that time. Raghunath gave permission. Raghunath's father gave permission for Raghunath to visit Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya gave him very wonderful instructions. No? 
These days someone comes to a temple, what do we say? <laughs> Get rid of your parents, drop your job, shave your head and come to the temple. Which may be good or may not be good. So Raghunath, you see in the life of Raghunath Goswami, step by step process. We cannot jump and become Paramahamsas. <laughs> so the step by step process. So Mahapur chastised him. Dear how I was chatting to Mapu in the drama, so I remember all his lines also. Still how Garajao Nahau Batul Krame Krame to me Baba Sinduku. No. Don't be a mad person. Ante the Koranishta Loko Kora Vyavaha Achade Tabe Pabe Krishna to Maruda. No. Baluna Paebe Ara Baluna Koebe Gramya Vatana Sunibe Gramya Vatana Kohebe Gramya Vatana Baluna Karibo, Baluna Paiva. These three instructions. No? Market Vairagya Nakore Lokere Dekan Yata Yug Visaya Bun Anashaktahan. These four lines Mahapur spoke. You can still remember, no? Firstly, Mahapur gave him very clear instructions on appropriate and inappropriate renunciation. No? Inappropriate renunciation is called monkey renunciation market <laughs> market vairagya monkey looks very renounced no cloth no house but monkey's mind and heart is full of so many desires for food stuff sex life but outside it looks like he's a big renounced person but inside monkey is as monkey does so Mahabhu said no need to make an um, external show Falgu renunciation or monkey-like renunciation. In a river in near Bihar, actually near Gaya, is a river called the Falgu. I took bath there, no? And really, it's this shallow. <laughs> to take bath, you have to do like a starfish. You know? So it looks very big. The river is very big and it looks very, but actually it's only this deep. And in summer, there's no water there at all. No? But you little move the sand and you see everything underneath. So monkey renunciation, falgu renunciation means like an external show. Like you see many people know. Anyway, I don't want to go too much into that. External show. Dry renunciation. Mahapur said this is useless. I remember as a kid I read a book. And one man, one boy heard about two famous yogis. They were so renounced they live in their cave. And their only possession is grass. They sit on Samasana and do like that. So he went to see these great famous renunciants. And when he got there, true story, these two yogis were having a fist fight because one guy had pinched the other guy's grass. Uh. I remember that from childhood. Funny. So this monkey-like renunciation, useless. Mapu said, better live in this world without attachment and the ingredients of this world use in an enjoy in an appropriate manner no? means whatever you want to eat whatever you want to wear whatever wealth comes you offer that to Bhagavan and the prasad you take and live happy life what's for prasad today I can see puris there in the engine many many things are there no? but enjoy in appropriate manner means first give enjoyment to Krishna then take this no? So Mapu said, Steer how garajao nahau batul. Don't be mad. Go home. Don't be mad. Go home. No. Ante the Kurinishta. Keep your faith for Krishna inside. Don't make an external show. If you do all these things very quickly, Krishna will deliver you from material existence. So Raghunath Goswami went home and he behaved for one year. He behaved normally. No. Normally when someone meets the devotees, <laughs> what they do? Shave their heads, they go home. What they say to their parents? I just learned you are not really my mother and father. <laughs> <laughs> because I am the soul. <laughs> and if you think I am your son, that is called illusion. <laughs> so this all Chaitanya Mahaprabhu discouraged. Just be normal. <laughs> Keep faith for Krishna inside and outside. Just behave like a normal person. Like you see Gurudev's behavior? Completely normal. There is no abnormality about him. No? 
So Raghunath, and also very importantly, don't eat too much luxurious foodstuffs. No? Don't wear too much fancy clothes, just in a normal, simple way. Practicing appropriate renunciation, devotional renunciation. No? Prabhup Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj gave a great example. I heard one time he had like ten, twenty thousand dollars in his hand. And he was chastising the sannyasis. You must learn renunciation. Yeah. Means whatever wealth comes, use for Krishna's service. You know? Of course, generally, whatever wealth comes. <laughs> Can we turn that off? Thanks a lot. So actually only a real high class person has this power to fully utilize everything in Krishna's service. Yeah. Therefore, under the guidance of Gurudev, the guidance of Vaishnavas, we should try to live like that. No? Sham, whose house is this? <laughs> Shri Krishna's house. Thank you. Okay. That's what I said. What did I say? Sham. Anyway. Right. Sham Das should have answered. This is all Krishna's property. So Mahaprabhu gave these very nice instructions to Raghunath and he went home for one year, he behaved very normally. Then his parents became very happy with his behavior. But unfortunately, he tried to escape again, he was bound. But by good fortune, Nityananda Prabhu was moving in that area. Nityananda gave different devotees responsibilities. For example, Ramananda Roy was given the department of Rasa. Bhakti Ras. No. Rupa Goswami was also given some section of that. No. Then Haridas Thakur was put in charge of Harinam to show the glories of the chanting of the holy names. No. Sanatan Goswami especially was given Tattva Siddhanta, no. especially his book like Brihad Bhagavatamrita. You will see all Tattva Siddhanta there. Raghunath Bhatta Goswami was given in charge of preaching the Srimad Bhagavatam. Jiva Goswami was given the responsibility of protecting the conception of Rupa and Raghunath. Because Rupa and Raghunath, their katar is so high. No? So Guru Mahārāj said, Jiva Goswami made a proper channel to protect by Tattva Siddhanta. So people would not misunderstand the baths of Rupa and Raghunath. So each Goswami was given some responsibility. Each devotee was given some section of seva. No? So, Nityananda was given the section of preaching. Nadia Godrumi Nityananda Mahajan Patiyachi Namahat Jivarekaran. Jivarekaran. To deliver the jivas on behalf of the jivas, Nityananda opened the marketplace of the holy name. Shraddhavana Janahe Shraddhavana Jan. Oh, faithful souls, come and purchase the holy name. What is the price? Shraddha. <laughs> that price is faith. According to your faith you purchase the holy names. So Yatastam Ribata Kuru Hari Hari Dwanamanisham Nityananda moved through all the towns and villages of Bengal with his hands in his hair in hands in his hair, hands in the air. And what would he say? Come brothers, come, chant these names. If you chant these names, I promise I will deliver you from material existence. I give I give my vow, I give my guarantee. Like you purchase something, <laughs> you get a guarantee. No. So you chant these names, I guarantee you deliverance from material existence. Guru Dev would say, if you chant and still not liberated, you can go to Nityananda and complain. <laughs> no. You promised. So, product. Huh? Product. product is not faulty, we are faulty. <laughs> so Nityananda was given that seva. No. Garigarja, Magiye Bhiksha, house to house. And what donation he would beg? Brothers, just chant these names. Hari Bol, Hare Krishna. So Nityananda was moving with his party of the twelve Dwadas Gopals. Nityananda had big preaching party. Most in Sakiras, because that is Nityananda's own mood. But also devotees in Maduras like um, Garadha Das, one devotee, he was in Gopi Bhav. But more, anyway, devotees of all rasas with Nityananda Prabhu. If you read Chaitanya Bhagavad, the last chapter, there is details of Nityananda's chanting party. 
they were so ecstatic sometimes they would just move in circles for days <laughs> which direction we're going no idea no? like mad persons no? not eating anything there were some boys who joined the party three four months not eating anything just living off the nectar of the holy names no? sometimes they would uproot trees and play the flute on them like this no idea day and night east west north or south I'm just moving in ecstasy. No? So Nityananda's party was like that. So by good fortune, no? Nityananda's party came near to the house of Raghunath. No? So he asked his father, I want to visit. And because he'd been behaving normally for one year, his father gave him permission. So Raghunath took some servants and he went to this place called Panihati. There is one big banyan tree. It's still there today. There was one dais platform, and Nityananda was sitting there, surrounded by many devotees. He looked like the full moon surrounded by many stars. Seeing Nityananda at a distance, then Raghunath did pranam. Then someone said, Oh, Prabhu, Nityananda, Raghunath is giving pranam. Then what did Nityananda say? This man is a thief. <laughs> This man is a criminal, a thief, a thief who steals someone, something which belongs to someone else is called a thief. So, this person wants Lord Chaitanya, but Lord Chaitanya is my property. <laughs> Ama Goranga, this Lord Chaitanya is my Goranga. No? So, what is it? No. If someone says, no. No, that doesn't know that one. If someone says, even one time, the name of Goranga with tears in their eyes, Lord, they purchase Lord Nitinanda. No? So, the Goranga belongs to Nitai. No? And this Raghunath is independently separate from me, trying to go to Lord Chaitanya. He's a thief and I will punish. <laughs> what punishment? No. Even if Vaishnavas punish, they always give some punishment in connection to Vaishnava in connection to bhakti. Come, all Bengalis are late. Only Sankaranya is on time. So even if Vaishnavas do some mistake, come sir, can we give him a chair? Krishna Prabhu? Aye, Boshun? No, he can't. Boshun? So, even Vaishnava gives some punishment, that punishment is always some bhakti, some devotion. No? If devotee do some mistake, how they should be purified? Madhusmita? If devotee do some mistake, how they become rectified? Only by bhakti. Even in dream, devotee never go to karma or jnana. Like Madhusudra Maharaj gives a mistake if who's in charge of Vrindavan? Gopeshwar Mahadev. So if some Vaishnav do a mistake, how he punishes them? Govardhan Parikram. <laughs> Chant more rounds. Hear Harikata. No. So Nityananda's punishment never by karma or jnana or any prior shit. Punish, Nityananda's punishment always good for you. No. This thing many people not understand. No. Vaishnava's Kripa come in two ways, blessing and anger. <laughs> if Vaishnav chastise us, this never give bad results, this always give good result. Like one time Trivikram Raj shouted at me. Then I was complaining to Gurudev. Then Gurudev said, you should think I am so fortunate, millions of lifetimes of karma, pap. He took away just by his words. So Vaishnav chastisement never give bad result. Who live with Vaishnava and getting that punishment, they can understand. No? But Vaishnava only punish those persons who are very dear to them, very close to them. They know they will not run away. So, the higher with the devotees always pray for punishment from the higher section. When I will get chastised, no. 
Nitaya karuna habe braja radha krishna pabe. When Nitai will give me mercy, I can get radha krishna. So Nityananda's punishment never give bad results. No? So what is Nityananda's punishment? Hey! Chuptaka. Nityananda's punishment means Vaishnav seva. <laughs> Serve all the Vaishnav. This is no punishment, this is blessing. No? Vaishnav seva adanam sankirtan dui sigra pabe si krishna rachara who serves the Vaishnavas and chant holy name, this person qu quickly gets Krishna. You know English, Prabhuji? This is your father, right? Yeah. Oh, take it. So, Nityananda's punishment serve the Vaishnavas. No? So, by this seva, we can develop affection for Vaishnavas. No? Raghun Rupa Goswami said an Upadesh Deshamrita, Dadati Pratigriyanati, Guyo Makati Put Bhungte Bhojate Cheva Sadvidi Priti Lakshana. How we love Vaishnavas by this, giving some prasad. I have some prasad from Vrindavan. Taking some prasad. But I will probably take more than I give, don't worry. <laughs> so giving and taking some pariprasana, some question, some answer, some harikata. These six ways to develop love amongst the devotees. So feed the devotees. So with Nityananda were hundreds and hundreds of devotees. <coughs> and Raghunath came with his party. So Raghunath began distributing foodstuffs. So he sent his servants. He had so much wealth. Buy all the flat rice, all the yogurt, all the koa. What's that? Condensed milk. All the mangoes, some clay cups, you bring from everywhere. So Raghunath Goswami's servants went to all the nearby villages, then word spread, there's a big festival. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people came. Each person was given two pots, two clay cups. No, I should look in Chaitanya Charamrita, but they mixed chira, flat rice with yogurt, mangoes and condensed milk and the other one had like bananas many many things but main thing hey everyone got two cups and there were so many thousands of people there was no room on the bank of the Ganga so people were standing in the Ganga with their two pots of food two pots of prasad I think Raghunath had ten brahmanas just mixing everything Imagine, just mixing all those condensed milk, mangoes. So thousands and thousands of people came. Everyone had their two pots, but no one was eating. Because Nityananda was Mahavaishnava. <laughs> so Nityananda had not eaten, so we cannot eat before any superior person. But Nityananda was not eating because he also waiting when Lord Chaitanya will come. So Nityananda meditated. And he called, Gora Hari, Gora Hari. So Lord Chaitanya came there, but everyone could not see. <coughs> Only those who had special vision, they could see how Nit Nityananda had brought Goranga Mahaprabhu there. But Raghunath Goswami could see. He could see. Nityananda would pick up some prasad and put in the mouth of his brother, Gora Hari. And Gora Hari would also pick up some prasad and put in the mouth of Nityananda. But 99% of people could just see <laughs> Nityananda going. <laughs> but some fortunate souls could see. No? Then there was big Sankirtan. Then everyone took their prasad. There was so much Hari Bol, Hari Bol, so much roaring and shouting. Everyone was very blissful, very happy. And Raghunath was personally making sure everyone got, does anyone want any more? There was no expense spared. So, I should have checked a little bit anyway. So, after feeding all the Vaishnavas, then there are some special Vaishnavas. No, because all Vaishnavas are worshipful, but still some are more worshipful than others. <laughs> Kanishta, Madhyam, Uttam is there. So Nityananda had some special devotees with him. The twelve Gopals, you know, the eight Kavirajas, 
<laughs> the 64 Mahants, there was one group of 64 devotees that would travel everywhere with Nityananda. So some special devotees, no? Like, so Nityananda, so Raghunath would arrange some special gift. These like high devotees were all given like some six or eight gold coins each, some cloth, like this. And also Raghunath gave two, three hundred gold coins especially to Raghav Pandit. You give this to Nityananda Prabhu after I'm gone. In this way he fully satisfied all the devotees. No. Our problem is sometimes we may think, I will just satisfy Gurudev. No need anyone else. But this will not take us very far. No. We should learn to satisfy the servants of Gurudev also. If Gurudev sees we are respecting all Vaishnavas, then he become happy. No? When Gurudev first went to England, I know, one devotee who was quite wealthy actually, his house was really nice. He lived in Bath. Hey! So, Gurudev came to England first time, and with Gurudev means 30, 40 people. No. So, this man, when he saw 30, 40 people come to his house, he was like, <laughs> he was not prepared for that. He thought, I just served Gurudev and his two, three who were with him. So we came there and there was no prashad, no nothing, so we're just sort of sitting there. Then Gurudev came down. Where is prashad for all the Vaishnavas? He asked. There had been no arrangement. And Gurudev became angry like fire. He goes, what? And Gurudev was really shouting at this new man. Not new man, he was old man, but he was having a new experience. <laughs> Gurudev said, what type of person do you think I am? I will eat and all the Vaishnavas will be hungry. You think I am that type of man? Then Gurudev said to him, you bring the pot. I will cook for everyone. And after all Vaishnavas have taken prasad, then I will eat last. That is my vow. And this, I remember this man. <laughs> so Gurudev always, he, too much like all Vaishnavas are served, then he become happy. Chatu vidha Sri Bhagavat Prasado Swadana Triptam Hari Bhakta Sangam. Gurudev went happy when he sees all Vaishnavas satisfied by four type of foodstuffs. <laughs> But generally we think when I get the four type of foodstuffs, then Gurudev must be happy. <laughs> Anyhow, Hare Krishna. Not so easy to become a Vaishnav. That is a very high platform. No? So Raghunath perfectly, Raghunath does person. Hey! He perfectly served all devotees. I forgot. I surrender. <laughs> so he perfectly served. Put him in the freezer. So he perfectly served all the devotees. Perfectly served. Perfectly satisfied. So Nityananda became very pleased with him. Yeah. So Nityananda put his lotus feet on his head, both feet, and blessed him. May all your desire be fulfilled. I bless you. You will achieve Lord Chaitanya. So, by the blessing of Nityananda, all obstacles to the life of Raghunath became smashed to pieces. Arakabe Nitai Chand Karuna Habe Kamahame Buja Kikiachan Prabhu. Arakabe Nitai Chan Karuna Habe Samsara Basana Mor Kabe Tucha Habe Punam Juli Betna How you can come so late? Oh, you are lying. It's a public holiday. There is no traffic. I was working in Kilmore and Sydney Road all the way to 40. Okay, okay. Sit, sit. I now speak, you will not. I speak in your defense. So I agree with you. Now you will not understand anything. You I came so late. Okay. Don't worry. 
So Raghunath Goswami, by the blessings of Nityananda, Makeshri, all the material desires, all obstacles were broken. So what happened next time? Raghunath Goswami's guru was Yadunanda Nacharya. Yadunandan was a disciple, I'm quite sure, of Sri Madhavendra Puri. Some relation was there. He was a disciple of Advaita. Advaita Chari was a disciple of Madhavendra. Some connection was there. So, Yadunandan Chari had some Takuji. Pujari went crazy and ran away. <laughs> so, Yadunandan sent a message to Raghunath. You please request the Pujari to return. So, Raghunath was saying, I have some seva for Gurudev. No one stopped him. So when he left, no. It's not even said he went to do that Guru seva. It's not said. He just ran to Puri. No. But we think Yadunanda Nachari by that was not upset at all. Must have been very satisfied. So this Adisapta Gram is north of Calcutta. Calcutta to Puri. How, how far? How many kilometers? 400, 500? No, no, it's quite close. Five, six hundred. No, it's not that far. But still, yeah, eight by... Okay, don't matter too much. <laughs> by train, it's 500 kilometers. <laughs> don't say it's only eight hours because he had to walk. <laughs> and he walked in... Raghunath Goswami also, Raghunath Das that time, he also walked. In eight days he walked. He ate twice. Some little muri, some milk. So when he came to Brindavan, he was very thin, covered by dust, you know, to Puri. That time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was already there. When Raghunath came before Lord Chaitanya, he did Dandavats. Then Mahaprabhu was very happy. So Mahaprabhu said some things. You are very fortunate. You are very fortunate. Huh? Material life is like a pit of stool, <laughs> and your father and uncle are like worms in the. <laughs> Why they are not pure Vaishnav? They are called Vaishnav Pry, like a Vaishnav. No? Many people tilak, you know, Hare Krishna, whatever, but. No proper mood towards Radha Krishna, no proper mood towards Vaishnava. Therefore they're called Kanishta Adhikari. <coughs> Many people have so much faith towards Takuji, to Bhagawan, no? but towards Vaishnava is no proper behavior. So they're called Kanishta Adhikari or Vaishnav Pray, like Vaishnava. They think Krishna is everything, Vaishnava is like me, human being, normal, <laughs> body of stool and urine. But Vaishnava is not like that. No? Vaishnava Dehas Chidanandamoy, Vaishnava, vai, the body of Vaishnava is always spiritual. No? But who understands that? Only the Madhya Madhikari. No? So your father and uncle, they're doing so much seva, but still they're like worms in stool. Krishna has given you so much mercy, he took you out of that stool pit and put, brought you here to Puri. Then Raghunath said, I don't know Krishna's mercy, but I know your mercy, because Mapu is Krishna. So Mapu merely called to Surup Damada Goswami. Surup Damada Goswami is Lalita in Krishna Lila. And he took the hand of Raghunath and put him in his hand in the hand of Surup Damada. And he said, Now your name is Surup Ragu. You are the Raghunath, but which Raghunath? Surupera Raghu. The Raghunath of Surup Damada. Who are the three other Raghunaths? Raghunath Bhatta. Huh? Rag yeah, Raghunath Bhatta, Raghunath Das, and. There's one more Raghunath somewhere. <laughs> but three Raghunaths are there. So which Raghu you, are you? You are the Raghunath of. Surup Damada, Surup Eraragu. No? So you see, especially the prayers of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he prays, when, when Lord Chaitanya will give me mercy, when he will give me the shelter of the feet of the Vaishnavas. No? What is Krishna's mercy? Punam, what is Krishna's mercy? 
Krishna's mercy, we get proper guru. That is Krishna's mercy. No? And if we try and cheat Krishna, Krishna will cheat us by giving us improper guru. Very late. This is this from uh, Maharaj? Is from Bangladesh. Ah, still no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> So, if Bhagavan give us Krishna Jadi Kripa Kori Kona Bhagavan Guru Antaramirup Shiksha Piman, if Krishna gives us mercy, he gives us that mercy comes in the form of proper Guru. No? Krishna gives us shelter through the mercy of Vaishnav, the mercy of Guru. Don't think I will go directly to Krishna and approach him. No, Krishna's mercy comes in the form of Guru. Krishna's mercy comes in the form of Vaishnav. No. So Vaishnava is called Krishna Kripa Srimurti. Vaishnava is called the form of Krishna's mercy. How Krishna gives us shelter, how Krishna gives us mercy through Gurudev, through Vaishnava. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu merely took him and donated him to Surup Dhammada. <laughs> no. Means you do bhajan under his guidance. No. This is very important. Ashraya, what is that? Ashraya na, nahi tagi arasab mana ki? What? Who takes shelter? Arasab mara neyakara. Those who take shelter, the Vaishnavas, no, Krishna cannot give up that person who takes shelter, the Vaishnavas. But who don't take shelter of the Vaishnavas, their life is useless. There's one story. No, Guru Dev would sometimes tell this story. There was one man who offended Lord Ram. Ram was very angry. So Ram took a vow. I promise I will kill you in the morning. I will finish you. And Bhagavan is Satya Sankalpa. What he says, that will happen. No? So this man be became very sad. Babare. So he started crying. Then he met Narad Rishi. Then Narad asked him, what happened, brother? He said everything. Lord Ram has vowed to kill me with the rising sun. So Narad Muni said, there's only one way you can be saved. You have to pray to Hanuman. <laughs> and don't give up until Hanuman promises to save you. So this man began praying, hey Hanuman, Gyanda Gunasaga, Jay Kapis, Chiloku, Dalad. Finally Hanuman came. What do you want? Oh Prabhu, save me. Prabhu, protect me. Pahimam, Rakshamam, again and again. Then Hanuman finally said, okay, I promise to save you. What's the problem? He said, Lord Ram promised to kill me. <laughs> so now you have to save me. And Hanuman was going, oh, who put me in this trap? Oh, Narad said, Narad. Narad always making some fight. So early in the morning, Ram came with his weapons to take the life of this man. But Hanuman came in front with his club. Ram said, move aside, I will take his life. Hanuman said, you move aside. <laughs> I promise to protect him. And Hanuman took up fighting position, you know, because he promised. Then Bhagavan gave up his promise. Okay, <laughs> Hare Krishna. So, who under the shelter of Vaishnav, Bhagavan cannot throw them very easily. Because Vaishnav have such a position. Krishna cannot ignore that position. So Gurudev would always say, Bhajan means Anugatyamoy, Anugatyamoy, Anugatyamoy. Bhajan means Anugatya, Anugatya, Anugatya. No? Guidance, guidance, guidance. Especially we should not think, oh, I'm under guidance of Gurudev. Okay, Tika. But now Gurudev is in Goloka Vrindavan and I'm in Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore Gurudev will always come in the form of Vaishnava, Shiksha Guru. And that way Gurudev give instructions. No? Srila Gogamaj said, when Guru goes back to Nitilila, he keeps one eye on the disciple who follow his instruction. Then he enter the heart of another Vaishnava and he speak through that Vaishnava. In this way, Guru Tattva is one, not two, five or ten. So in this way, Guru keeps relation through Shiksha Guru. But anyway, everyone should always be under the shelter of high class Vaishnava. And you cannot say there is no high class Vaishnava. No? Many people think 
Oh, now Guru Dev gone, this world have no Mahabhagavat. He said, like stupid. You know? Gogama said, Mahabhagavat always in this world. You know? Maybe we have no Sukriti, we cannot see. Maybe we are puffed up, we think we don't need, then you cannot see. But Vaishnava always in this world, always there is Mahabhagavat here. You know? So, Surup Damada, he is the guru of all Mahabhagavats. <laughs> so high class. He is Lalita Saki. It said Surup Damada Goswami knew all Shastra. But he also knew all musical instruments. He could play all musical instruments. He could sing like a Gandharva. <laughs> he was a poet. All qualities were there. He's singing even in the form of Lalita Saki. Like the second form of Radhika. <coughs> and this way it gives so much happiness to Radha and Krishna. <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us all Gaudiya Sampradaya is under the control of Srup Damada Goswami. No? When all devotees were doing Gundicha Majan, you know English? No? All devotees were doing Gundicha Majan, means throwing so much water and so much brooming. Because Jagannath will come. So one devotee, he had a pot of water, he poured it on Lord Chaitanya's feet and he drank. Then Lord Chaitanya pretended to become angry. He said to Srup Damada, Your Gaudiya Vaishnav has done offense. Your Gaudiya Vaishnav means all Gaudiya is under your protection, under your control. <laughs> so Srup Damada, he took that devotee by the neck. He pretended to be angry, but he was not angry. He was very happy. And he pushed him outside, but he was not angry at all. <coughs> so Lord Chaitanya had three and a half main devotees. Srup Damada, Ramananda Roy, Sikhi Mahiti, and his sister Madhavi. Madhavi is considered half. Still don't, half is still better than none. <laughs> We are none, but she is half, you know, so three and a half. You know. So in this way, Surup Damada is so close to Mahaprabhu. You know. Every night, every day, Lord Chaitanya would go to Totagopina. And there Gadadha Pandit would speak Bhagavatam. Gadadha Pandit is who? Pretty? Radharani is in Kanash. And Radharani is the guru of all Braj, Brajeshwari. She is the source of all rasa. She is the guru of all Brajabasi. So she would speak Bhagavatam and Lord Chaitanya would hear. No. Along with everyone else would hear. Guru Maharaj said, because Lord Chaitanya is Krishna pretending to be Radharani. <laughs> he is Krishna trying to be Radharani. But he is not Radharani. He is trying to that, touch that mood. So he would hear everything. Then night time he would practice what he heard. And Surup Damada, Ramananda Roy would teach. Not like that, like this. They would help Lord Chaitanya by singing so many verses. So late. Aye bhai, Samne Beto, come in the front. Where are you from? Nepal. Nepal. Betia, Samne. Where's the invisible Lakshman? Not here, huh? Unmanifest. Still in exile. So, what's your name, sir? Padam. So in this way, Surup Damada every night was with Lord Chaitanya. And Surup Damada would speak these verses of Vidyapati. Jayadev. No, he would, the Bhagavatam, he would speak all these verses and give so much happiness to Lord Chaitanya. So every night in the morning, Surup Damada would come out of the Gambira and Raghunath would ask him, what did Lord Chaitanya say? What verses were spoken? What was his mood? In this way he learned everything from Raghunath. Raghunath Goswami learned everything from Surup Damada. But one day he said, I want to ask Lord Chaitanya some instructions directly. So when he approached Lord Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya said, I already gave you in the hand of Surup Damada, but still, if you want to ask me something, 
I will give you some more instruction. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave him some four or five advice. You know, especially, you no, know, what is that? Huh? Yeah. Where's that from? Anyway, no. Moni Nija Siddhadeya Kore Bhavan. I mean, in your mind, you should always remember. Come on. Manasi Kore Externally, you should do Seva, like Sadak, but in your mind, you should also conceive yourself as one Brijabhasi. Manasi Kore Is that your wife, Padam? She's also doing a courtesy? Huh? Are you doing a courtesy? Courtesy? Yeah, I Doing? Yeah, I okay. So, there are two ways to serve. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Rupa Goswami wrote, Seva Sadaka Rupana Siddha Rupana Chaturhi Tadbhavita Lipsita Kaja Braj Lok Anusarata one should serve externally, following all limbs of Vaidhi Bhakti, like Shravan Kirtan. And when we become free from anatas, then our sarup will come out. No? Every jiva have one sarup, one mood, one bhavana, one feeling towards Krishna. Some, that is already there. Niti Siddha Krishna Prem Sadhya Kabunai Shravanadi Sudha Chitta Kori Udai. No? All of us have one special relation with Krishna. Some as Das, some as Sakya, some as Batsalya. Ah, no mercy. And some as Madhurya. So lucky I was not father. I would kill the children in one week. Guru Maharaj give example. There is a farmer. Farmer plant one mango seed one chili seed, one avocado seed, one begon seed, eggplant seed, what else? Papaya seed. Five, six different seeds. Same soil, same gardener, same sun, same everything. But from the mango seed comes mango tree, from the avocado seed comes avocado, from the chili seed comes chili, Something should be for the Bengali. For the eggplant comes. Eggplant. So Gurudev have many, many disciples. Same kata, same mantra, same mercy. But from the heart of one disciple comes Sakiras. From the heart of another disciple come Madhuras. From the heart of another disciple comes some other mood. Guru is not giving this mood. Who is giving this mood? Krishna. Krishna is the cause of all causes. He is also the cause of the mood of the jiva. In simple language, Krishna chooses whatsoever he wants from us. No? <coughs> Many people like the Babaji's, the Sahajas. They think, no, no, you have to go to Guru. He give you a special mantra. He give this mood by Siddha Pranalio. But this is not a fact. No? Guru Maharaj gives the example like Narad Rishi have many, many different disciples in many, many different rasa. One disciple of Narad is who? Dhruva. Dhruva, his Ishtadeva is Vishnu, Gabadaksai Vishnu. Another disciple is Prahlad. <coughs> Excuse me. Who is Prahlad's, Prahlad's mood? To Nasringadev. Prahlad is Gyani Bhakta. No? Narad Muni have another disciple, Chitraketu. <laughs> Chitraketu took mantra from Narad. Chitraketu, his mood go towards who? Sankarshan. Narad Muni have another disciple like Valmiki. Huh? Vyasadev, Valmiki first. Valmiki, his mood came towards Ram. Vyasadev, his mood came towards Dwarkadish Krishna, some say. Narad Muni have another disciple, Purnamasi. 
Yoga Maya, her mood, her mood came. We are losing, using material language. Her mood came to Radha Krishna. Maybe some Batsalya is there, something like Batsalya Ras to Radha Krishna. Same Guru. No, but all disciple, different, different mood. No. Some are now saying, we hear some people teaching, the Guru must be in Madhuri Ras. Some say like that. If he's not in Madhuri Ras, he cannot give everything. No. But this is like one type of atheism. No. It's not written anywhere. The Guru must be in Madhuri Ras before he can accept the position of Acharya and give Diksha. That is not written anywhere. Then the disciple can only be in Madhurya Ras, then he's only qualified to take initiation. All these things come. No? But we find this is not the case. No? Gurudev gives same mantra for all disciples, and all disciples chant mantra according to their desire. No? They achieve their seva. So, therefore, we see in our Gaudiya Sampradaya, Acharyas and all Ras, Nitinanda himself, Sakaras, Rude Chaitanya, no, Gauri Das Pandit, many, many others also. Bamsi Das Babaji Maharaj, Batsali Ras, Akinshan Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj, Sakya Ras, Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Sakya Ras. No, all have uh, Gaudiya Sampradaya, contain all Rasas, all notes. No? And mantra, what you want, mantra give them. Tiga, Bhushitapabe Prabhu. Sorry. Amar Bangla Kubdur Balatse. These questions been oscillating back and forth for a long time. Yes. <coughs> Ten years ago or twenty years ago when uh, thirty we years here, ago. Uh, it seemed to be settled in the minds uh -huh. of the devotees at least. Uh, but now it seems to be coming up again, so uh, which I find very interesting. Yes. Everything has its time. Mm. Mm. There's a book here you can take where all these things <coughs> are going. This, I, I totally accept what you say. Because you know, it's, uh, all the research, etc., it's uh, actually saying that this has always been that mood. One, it can be, it's not that you, you, you're you locked in or fixed, uh, whatever, you may find inspiration from one katha, one mood. And that, one mood. That, mood that is not illegal. You find your guru, and uh, etc., and you, yeah. and it's not illegal. Sure. Like Guru Dev also, the Guru Dev went to Houston, there were devotees of Ram Chandra. I was in the room when Gurudev giving the same Diksha mantras. But for Ram, mm. you worship Gornitai, you think this is Laksh Ram and Lakshman. He said, I heard on now. The calm Gayatri, you think Ram is handsome like Kama Dev. So, not that all these mantras only give Madhuri Ras, these mantras give all Rasas. No? So, point being, now we have many, many bad things, bad habits by Vaidhi Bhakti. And the Anugatya of Gurudev, this old Anatu will be finished. And when Anatu is gone, then who we are, what we are, that will come. Shravana Kirtana Kori, no. Malan Kori Se Bij Kori Aropan, Shravana Kirtana Jal Kori Esechan. Water the seed by hearing and chanting. And when ready, the seed will pop, manifest in one of these for us. Char Bhav Bhakti De Nachim Bhuvan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu giving this for Rasa. So point is all these instructions, well not exactly those instructions, but instructions in this line. Think of Radha Krishna according to your particular mood and do bhajan, do sankirtan. No? So Raghunath Goswami, we hear he is Rati Manjari and Krishna Lila. No? That means all the maid servants of Radhika, they're manifestations of Radharani's one one quality. Radharani's beauty, that is Rupa Manjari. <laughs> Rupa means beauty. Radharani's Rati, Radharani's attachment to Krishna, that is Rati Manjari. No? Like this, no? Rasa Manjari, Radharani's mood, Ras, that is in the form of Rasa Manjari, like this. So all Manjaris, they are all like Kaivas, Kaivyuha Sarups. The manifestation of Radharani's own self. And Raghunath Goswami, he's one of the Asta Manjaris. No, I cannot remember all their names, but eight main Sakis are there. The Asta Sakis, Lalita, can you remember? Vishaka, Chitra, Champaklata, Tungavidya, Hinduleka, Tungavidya Rangadevi, 
Chitra Devi, eight. So eight main Sakis are there, these are the friends of Radhika. So eight main Manjaris are also the Asta Manjaris, Rup, Rati, like this. So Raghunath Goswami is one of them. <laughs> so he is Nichasiddha. Nichasiddha means, Dr. Nod Thakur says, Nichasiddha means when Bhagawan comes, they come with him. And when Bhagawan goes, they go with him. <laughs> they never come separately. That is the definition of Nichasiddha. No? So Raghunath Goswami, he showed step by step development no, of bhajan. So at first, because he came from wealthy family, his father used to send two servants, two brahmanas, to cook and maintain Raghunath. So they had so much money every month to spend. So once, two days a month, Raghunath Goswami would invite Lord Chaitanya for lunch along with all his associates. So Lord Chaitanya would take prasad with different, different persons. Sometimes the house of Sava Boma, sometimes with you know, different devotees like Garadha would also have a few days a week. <laughs> Jagadananda Pandit. Everyone had some fixed schedule. So Raghunath would invite all the devotees twice a month and he would spend his father's money for all this type of seva. No? But after some time he realized Lord Chaitanya eating everything, but he's not very happy with this. No? Why? Oh, my father is materialist. No? And Visaya Ana Koila Malina Hoi Man, Malina Man Nahoi Krishna Rasana. No? One should not eat the food grains of materialists. No? So don't eat in restaurants. Eating in restaurants? Don't do it. This poison. All no? the time. <laughs> and look at you. <laughs> look what happened. Don't do it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> because this person cooking, their mind is where? No? We don't. Anyway, we do know. <laughs> yes. So the materialist is cooking, then his lust, all greed, all these bad things go in the food grain. And you eat that, what happens to your mind? Punam, bahane khate na? Restaurant, hotel, shadi mein. Husband ko basibut karna. Why? Then you go crazy. Why her cooking is no good? <laughs> Try not. Try some tiffin. No, oh, this is the song. Take some, Tiffin. What job you have? You haven't had a job for 20 years. Silence! I, I'm just, I've been retired. Try. We understand. It's not easy. Try. <laughs> so try. Especially who take in Diksha, they should not do. Because the 64 Vaishnava, 64 Seva Aparad, to offer to Bhagawan what is not cooked for Bhagawan. I cannot go to the restaurant. Oh Lord Vishnu. <laughs> 2468, Lord Vishnu, can't wait. <laughs> what is not cooked to Vishnu, how can we give to Vishnu? He not take that. No? So this is one Seva Aparad. What is not cooked for Vishnu, to offer to Vishnu is Seva Aparad. And to eat what is not given to Vishnu, this is also Seva Aparad. So anyway, life is difficult, but try not to eat these things. No, Like our Didi Krishna Priya Bridi Dinam Vrindavan, she's she said whole life she never ate not even one biscuit she ate in her whole life. Nothing not offered or cooked to Takuji. Okay, this is like the gold, <laughs> the platinum medal. But still we should try. So my father is a materialist. He is giving money. I'm eating that. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu not satisfied. So Raghunath stopped taking money from his father. No. So then what happened? No, sometimes we also do because we cannot go inside Jagannath temple then the pujaris or the devotees who come out then we kitchen <laughs> dal you ask give they very happily give some rice dal sabji they give very easily very nicely no so Raghunath would do like that no? first he went to the food for life there was a food for life there like crossways but a bit more transcendental and he would take some free prasad there, then he started begging. But after some time he thought, this is also not good. A beggar is like a prostitute. 
What does a prostitute kid think? <laughs> I don't know, but I could take a guess. Oh, here comes this man. He has so much money. Definitely he will give something. Oh, it's Yadibar again. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he will give more like this. He will give. He is very wealthy. He will give. Why he not gave? So begging is not good because this become like Veshavriti. So he gave up begging. Then Mahapu asked because first using father's money, then food for life, free prasad, then begging. Then he also gave up begging. Then Mahapu asked how he's living. This is very extreme. We cannot do like this. If we do like this, we will die. No, We'll give up bhajan in one, two days. <laughs> When you go to Jagannath Puri, who has been to Jagannath Puri? You can see there, there's a huge kitchen and there's a spout <laughs> that comes out. So when the pujaris are washing the vegetables or washing the rice or, you know, throwing prasad here and there, then some comes out of this spout and it goes into a, a trough, a pit. And all the cows eat that. But sometimes the rice becomes so old, the cows, even cows don't eat. Cows eat everything, right? Plastic bags, cloth. But sometimes that is so old rice, cows not eat. So Raghunath would take that and he would wash. And the hard bit in the center, he would take a little bit of salt and he would take that prasad. You know? Imagine if you served that here tonight. <laughs> So Raghunath was living like that. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard, he became astonished. I want to see. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went there. And Raghunath was eating his old rice with salt. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, what are, you, what are you doing? And he snatched one handful of rice and ate. Then he snatched another handful of rice and ate. When he went to snatch a third handful, Suruk Damada Goswami stopped his hand. Oh Lord, it is not fit for you. Now, this is the same like Krishna stealing the rice of Sudama Vipra. One time, two times, then Rukmini stopped his hand. No. Why? With one hand, he purchased everything we have. With two handful of rice, he purchased us, Rukmini and Krishna. And if he eats a third handful, where we go, we have nothing to give. We have to go in the Parikra Marg with a begging bowl and start living there. That's why Rukmini stopped his hand. We have no power to repay the devotion of Sudama. So in the same way, Mahapu, one, two, then Surup Damada caught his hand. Same Leela. No? Then Mahapu said, Raghunath, what type of person are you? Every day you're having a big feast, but you're not inviting us. I can taste on this the nectar of Jagannath, the nectar of Krishna's lips. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would do like that. So he stayed there many years. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu one day, he thought, he wrote a letter to Advaita Charya. One madman is saying to another madman. <laughs> one madman is selling rice. But now the market is flooded with rice. Everyone have too much rice. So one madman said to the other madman, go home. No one could understand what this means. Advaita Charya's message, what meaning? No one could know. But Lord Chaitanya knew. Because Advaita Charya is the cause of the Lord's coming. Advaita Charya is the cause of the Lord's dis disappearance also. One madman, Advaita Charya, said to the other madman, Lord Chaitanya, everyone has prema. The market is full. So go home, finish. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disappeared. And Raghunath, how he lived, he became like a mad person. Because when Lord Chaitanya left, everyone began leaving. Surup Damada, everyone, one by one. They could not live without Lord Chaitanya. No? We are many millions of lives without Krishna. No problem, we are happy, right? <laughs> Morning time paratha. But they cannot live without Krishna even for one second. So Raghunath came in such a situation, I cannot live even here in Jagannath Puri. Because here Lord Chaitanya do so many lila. So 
every place, every grain of sand remind me of Lord Chaitanya. So he thought, I will kill myself. I will go to Govardhan. I will commit suicide off Govardhan. Or I will drown in the Yamuna. So with his intention, he went to Brindavan. <coughs> and there he met Rup and Sanatan. No? So Rup Sanatan, it said, Bhakti Raksakshidama, it said, somehow Raghunath felt, no, no, the presence of Lord Chaitanya is still here in these two devotees. No, he thought like that. Lord Chaitanya has not gone, he's still here in their hearts. So in this way, Rup and Sanatan gave him so much affection, like brothers, like father. And they talked him out of suicide. <laughs> and he began living there under the guidance of Rup and Sanatan. Sometimes he would feel so much separation, Raghunath. So Rup Goswami would write something funny, like Mukta Charitra. Has anyone read Mukta Charitra? I saw it in your bookcase there tonight. It's like full of hasira, so much joking between Krishna and the gopis. So when Raghunath felt like dying, just about to die from separation, then Rupa Goswami said, read this book, read this book. And he would ha 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 like this, and he would live. So in this way, sometime he maintained his life. But then Rupa and Sanatan also left. How much affection he have for the feet of Rupa and Sanatan? Especially he wrote one book called Vilap Kusmanjali. Very beautiful book. No? He wrote many books in our Sampradaya, Raghunath Goswami, especially Manashiksha. Hey! <coughs> Teachings to the mind, oh dear mind, do not become angry. So Raghunath Goswami wrote these books like Manashiksha, Teachings to the Mind. Have you read Punam? Why not? How the mind should become the friend, Krishna says in Gita, the uncontrolled mind is enemy and controlled mind is friend. How to make the mind a friend? The mind will take the soul to Radha Krishna. What should I think? How should I do this all in Manashiksha? Twelve verses. And Vilap Kusmanjali. Vilap means lamentation. Offering of these flowers of lamentation to the feet of Radharani. Beautiful verses there you can read. Especially the Radharani have five types of sakis. Some sakis like Krishna more. Some sakis like Radha Krishna equally. Like this. But one group of saki, these four groups are nichisiddhas. This is not for us. But only one group of Sakis, they have right to serve, that is called Manjari Bhav, Bhavu Lasrati. They have more affection for Radharani even than Krishna. Radharani is their life and soul. And because Radharani love Krishna, they also serve Krishna. Only because Radharani give him some place. This is special mood of the followers of Rupa Goswami. This special mood called Manjari Bhav. They have so much love for Radharani. Radharani, their life and soul. You know? One time Didi, we were talking and Didi was saying, we were asking, what is the mood of these gopis, these Manjaris? And Didi said one time Rupa Manjari was making a garland. You know? This garland for Krishna. So, how tall is Krishna? The garland should come down to here or here. Rupa Manjari was making this garland. But again and again she was not sad. Again and again she breaking the garland. Again and again making new so it's perfect. Then Radharani, she, Rupa Manjari give this garland to Radharani. Then Radharani said, no, no, you put on the neck of Krishna. You put on the neck of Krishna. Again and again Radharani ordered, you put on the neck of Krishna. Then Rupa Manjari weeping. Well, Radharani, when I see you put this garland on the neck of Krishna, then I feel happiness millions of times more. So this mood is called Tad Tad Bhavichamai. No, they never try to go to Krishna directly. They always, if they know if Radharani is happy, Krishna is happy automatically. Radharani Seva, that is fully Krishna Seva. No, because they are decorating Radharani and all this hair and everything. Who enjoyed that? <laughs> that Krishna enjoyed that. Even Krishna calls them, they never go. No, because they are 
one pointed to the feet of Radharani. This special mood of Rupa Goswami. And this mood fully come in the heart of Raghunath Goswami. That's why Gaudiya Sampradaya is so much towards Radharani. Especially Saraswati Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, especially our Gurudev. Always Radha 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 Radha. Too much, not always, this mood always there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. And which Krishna, which Ram? Madisha Nate, Vrajagripina Chandra. No? Which Krishna, this Krishna who is the beloved of Radharani? Separate from Radharani, no Krishna. <laughs> Krishna. Which Krishna? That Krishna who too much love Radharani, always thinking of Radharani. To that Krishna we also do some. So, but to this very high mood. No? Even Brahma and Shiva cannot imagine this type of bhajan, but Raghunath Goswami gave all this in his, especially Vilap Kusmanjali, these books. No? So today is a very special day. Raghunath came from where and where he ended up, this all by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu or by the mercy of Rupan Sanatan. So we sang this Rupa. Echai Gosai Kori Chadana Bandan Jaha Hoite Bhikunanas Abhishtapuran. Echai Gosai Jaha Mui Tara Das Tasavada Pada Renomoda Panchagras. My foodstuff is the food dust of these six Goswamis Rup, Sanatan, the two Raghunaths, Jiva, and Gopal. These six Goswamis, their food dust, this is our food, our life and soul. Right, Vidyapati Prabhu? Okay, these are very high things. These are like mangoes and we are like crows. <laughs> but still sometimes this fragrance can touch. So Gurudev would speak all these things. Why? He said, we should know this is the goal of our Sampradaya. We should know. We should know. So sometimes some breeze can touch us. Not these special days. We can remember where am I going, what do I want. Any questions from the people? Hare Krishna? Yes, sir. One time, Raghunath Das Goswami is in separation mode. So, Krishna asked Raghunath Goswami, Why are you in separation mode? This is Raghunath Goswami also write one Swanim Dasakam. Ten verses, these are Raghunath Goswami's own rules. Bhaktivinoda Thakur also write, I think with twelve verses. If you read, it's very beautiful. There he put all rules. Like, you know, I promise I never, my pots, I only reserve for Takuji Seva. I never use for any other pot, this only for Radha. This also in his. So there he said, even Krishna calls. You know, me to Dwarka, I will not go. But if Krishna calls Radharani and Radharani goes, then in one second I will go with Radharani to Dwarka to serve her there. This is also the mood of Raghunath Goswami. Tika? One time he didn't accept the matana. So, Did Radharani have one cousin sister? No, it says. Of all the gopis, the two are the most beautiful, most qualified, even more than Lalita and Vishaka. That is Chandravali and Radhika. Radharani is Chandravali is Radharani's cousin sister. They're like cousins, sisters. No? But <laughs> there's some competition between them to please Krishna. So Chandravali have one mood, Krishna. I am Krishna's. No? That is called Tadiyabhav. I am Krishna's. But Radharani have the feeling, Madhyabhav, Krishna is mine. Which is better? I am Krishna's or Krishna is mine? <laughs> this is called Madhyabhav, very thick mode. No? So for taste, for new pastime, this competition is going on. So Chandravali is, in one sense, it looks like against. Radharani. But inside they have too much affection for each other. No? So Raghunath Goswami was there in Govardhan. No? Then one Brahmin came with one leaf cup. No? If you make a big leaf like that it becomes like a bowl. No? 
and there was big leaf cup and maybe half liter of matter, you know. How do you say it? Charge. Yes. No matter, matter is peace, right? Charge. So Raghunath was surprised to see such a big leaf cup. Where this came from? I got this from Sakistali, the place of Chandravali. Then Raghunath in little internal consciousness. What? This come from the enemy of Radharani? You think I will drink that? I will never drink that. So he took his stick and went to beat the Brahmin. But he did not beat him, but just like that. Right? Because not in, inter not in external sense. So Madhu, Madhu Sudama said, by doing like that, that buttermilk went on the ground. But he feel a thousand times more happiness than drinking it. Just to throw that thing. This come from Chandravali. So these very high things. One time, Guru Maharaj says, Raghunath Goswami lived so many years in Radha Kund. And everything he learned in Puri, he spoke everything to Krishadas Kaviraj Goswami. And hearing that, Krishadas Kaviraj Goswami wrote Chaitanya Charitamrita by the hearing Raghunath Goswami. You know? So, one day he became very sick and Raghunath Goswami would only eat some chickpeas. You know? Did you saying how Goswamis lived? On Dwarasi day they begged so many chapatis, 50, 100, and they would put in the sun. Okay, maybe not 100, but... And these chapatis become dry like puppets. You know? And then what, for two weeks they would eat that. Dry chapati, mash, put in milk if you're lucky, or water, and eat that. Is that tonight? <laughs> so Goswami is doing, did he, did he say so? Look how we are living, we are like black spots. How they are living and look how, how they are doing bhajan and how we are doing bhajan. Big differences there. So, Raghunath Goswami lived by these dry chapatis, water, sometimes some yogurt, some chickpea, chana. Then one day Raghunath Goswami had diarrhea. Then Ayurvedic doctor came. <laughs> Someone help him. So doctor, the Ayurvedic doctor took his pulse. Oh. He had too much sweet rice and paneer sabji. No doubt, too much kapha. Then all devotees, are you crazy? Where he gets sweet rice, where he gets paneer sabji and puri, where he gets malpua. Then doctor said, no mistake is there. No. Because every lunchtime, Radha Krishna take all these things. Radha Krishna not eating dry chapatis and water. They're eating all these malpua sabjis. So in his meditation, he also, what Radha Krishna eating, when that prasad he also taking by his meditation, then he also becomes sick. So his bhajan is very, very high. We are too much lucky to appear in this sampradaya. This is the line of Rupa and Raghunath. You know? And many people would criticize Gurudev. Why he's speaking all these things? You know? Guru Maharaj had one Shiksha Guru, Bhakti Jivan Janardhan Maharaj, disciple of Saraswati Thakur. That's Bhakti Nam Madhusudra Maharaj's Guru. You know? Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj left 1968. So for 30, 30 years he was Shiksha Guru of Gaudivadan Simiti. You know? Even Bhaman Maharaj, everyone too much see him as high. Didi says, when he would speak a ta, everyone weep, everyone crying. He's so deep. Gurudev crying, Bhaman Maharaj, everyone crying. He's so much, so much deep and so much, I never met. Still can meet by hearing that is real Dasha. So he said to Gurudev, no, no matter what happens, never be afraid to speak these topics. Don't be afraid. Otherwise, if you not speak, these things will become lost forever. That's why Gurudev so much pushing this mood. You know, he knows we're not qualified. But if he not speak and we not hear, then what will happen to the future? The future generations, they will also become lost. You know. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Go Premanandi. Hari Hari Bo. Can we play my day? Prabhu, can you sing? Kichu Kitan Kochen? Huh? <laughs> Bengali. Everyone here is Bengali. This is Gorya Sampradaya. You want Mudanga Kartel? Kichai. Kartel?